I think it's good. All these people are wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is day 20 of UK lockdown. It is now the night time. Um, I've been wearing yoga pants all day despite doing no yoga. And I'm definitely at that stage of being in quarantine where I want to do really stupid stuff to my hair. So if anyone's got any crazy ideas or if anyone else has already done something crazy to their hair, let me know, I want in. Today's video is kind of a reaction video, I guess, in a way. Um, so I've been thinking of a way that I could do a reaction video in AuthorTube or BookTube for a while. Um, apparently I have a very expressive face and I thought it would be quite fun. Um, I mean, I couldn't really think of a way to kind of crowbar it in and have it make sense. Um, and then Lost in a Bookcases channel pinged up on my feed a couple of days ago and she had done a reaction video reading negative Goodreads reviews of her favourite books. Wonderful! So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, these aren't technically my favourite books. I've chosen four. Uh, a bit of a random number but four is. Um, a couple of them are like in my top 10 favourite books and then um, a couple are just ones that I've read quite recently. Um, so I am going to take a look at some negative reviews for My Lovely Wife um, by Samantha Downing, uh, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, uh, A Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and Secret History by Donna Tartt. So actually only one of those is new-ish but whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on. So the first one I'm going to have a look at is My Lovely Wife. Um, I did do a separate review video on this, so I'll tag that up here somewhere. Um, I really liked this book. It was one of those, I finished it and I was like, five star. Really enjoyed it. I loved that I didn't take itself too seriously and it was just kind of fun. Um, and then I kind of let it rest for a while and I was like, meh, maybe it's more of a four, four and a half, because there are some like flaws in it, but natural, you know, we are human. Um, so I guess it kind of sits at 4.5 for me, but I did really, really enjoy it. Um, it did really, really well last year. I think it came out spring 2019, something like that. Um, but I have seen a few negative reviews and I'm really intrigued to find out what people dislike about this book. So the main things I liked about this book was um, the originality and the way it was told, the fact that it had the family dynamic, because that's quite interesting, I think. Um, and the fact that the twist, one of the twists, is so early in the book. Probably my top three favourite things. I'm going to have a look now and see what people didn't like about it. Uh, so there are quite a few one-star reviews. Um, oh, someone said it's an utterly boring and pointless book. I mean, if it's entertaining, is it pointless? Art for art's sake, or something, someone said one time. Someone said, oh, to be the odd one out. Uh, to see all these hyped up reviews and then rate it with only one star because I didn't like it. <laughs> well... Is this person just trying to be a hipster? Well, this book is popular, therefore I cannot like it. Because that would make me not cool. Now, this person said, I think this is just not a genre I can enjoy. And if you know you're not going to enjoy something, why make yourself read it? Another one. This is written in first person, so if you don't like that, then you'll probably want to pass. That's fair. It is in first person. I do get why some people don't like first person. But I think if it's done well, I think it can be really good. It can be really effective, but I do get it. I think a lot of the time, I've read some first person novels um, which kind of come across as a bit juvenile and a little bit, yeah, like they were written for a school project or something, but I didn't get that. I didn't get that from this one. So this person has said, I've been reading thrillers for a long time. <laughs> um, what I mean is, most stories have been told. For me, what distinguishes an author is the writing, the character development, the atmosphere, the little bits they can inject into the stories. That was not here for me. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I do understand that, you know, thriller-wise, the majority of ideas have kind of been done. You have a threat, you overcome the threat, or you don't overcome the threat. But I mean, everything can be boiled down to that, and kind of, in a way, every story has already been told. So I do understand that. But I actually thought that the way my lovely wife was told and the added family dynamic really kind of made that okay. Maybe these people aren't reading the same book as me. <laughs> uh, book number two is Good Omens. This is definitely in my top 10 favourite books of all time. It's written by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Um, I was into Terry Pratchett way before I was into Neil Gaiman. 
and then I cake I kind of got into Neil Gaiman through Good Omens. So it's in my top ten, and I love it. <laughs> these some of these are worded really good. <laughs> Uh, what a banal, poorly paced, over padded, tedious, masturbatory exercise in cleverness. I mean, that's quite a good description of most of Terry Pratchett's work. It's all very clever. That's what satire is. It's the point. Like spending several hours sitting next to an unfunny comedian oozing smugness out of every pore, spouting tired observational humour whilst jabbing you in the ribs every couple of sentences. <laughs> Religion, am I right? Bureaucracy, am I right? <laughs> It's funny because I think the way the comment is written is what they're complaining about. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is written that way. If you're not gonna, if you don't like that style of writing, then it's probably not gonna be for you. Uh, this is hands down the worst book I have read this year. What? The humour was ninety uh, was off ninety percent of the time. That's not true. It's really funny. I guess if you don't get dry humour and sarcasm and satire. And it might miss the mark for you. <laughs> Good omens, frankly, needs to be edited. Like, I'm pretty sure it was, buddy. <laughs> I keep seeing Pratchett and Gaiman's names on people's lists as favourites, and I must not be getting the joke. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. They're on my list. Book number, I've lost count, and I'm also not sure what day it is. When is it? Where am I? Um, we'll go for Handmaid's Tale by Mark Atwood. Um, this is like a crazy popular book. Incredibly popular. I think I can probably guess at what some people might not like. I would guess that some people aren't into the theme and the message kind of being rammed down your throat. I don't believe it is rammed down your throat, but that's what I reckon they'll say. Um, and I also think that a lot of people don't respond well to first person. I'm not really that sure why, because again, I think if it's written well, it's really good. It's just as powerful as third. But those are my guesses. <laughs> this book is about observations. A lot of really boring observations. Did they read the book? I'm literally not convinced. That's all they've written. I am not convinced that you have read the book. I absolutely hated this book. Okay. This is a dystopian novel, but it is too exaggerated. Okay. That's kind of the point. Uh, oh, quite a few people are saying they didn't like it because they were made to read it at school. See, I was made to read it at school, only I loved it. And that's what got me into Margaret Atwood. And then I immediately read Oryx and Craig and loads of other ones. And I, yeah, I didn't react that way, but fair enough. I guess it took me a while to get into John Steinbeck after having that rammed down my throat at school, but eh. I really disliked this book. The main reason was Atwood's writing, which read to me like fiction from a college writing workshop. I think that's probably talking about the first person. The most boring post-apocalypse world I have ever come across. I feel like a lot of people disagree with you. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I was so not into this one. I felt manipulated by cheap theatrics. Also, it was not very well written. I was looking for something much more profound. How can you get more profound than Margaret Atwood? What? No. All right, so book number four is the last book, and that is A Secret History uh, by Donna Tartt. That's another one that is in probably my top five. I recommend this novel to everyone. My copy is really beaten up, and I don't know who has it right now, but someone has it. <laughs> one of my friends has it. Um, and I really like reading this over and over again and getting other people to read it so we can chat about it. <laughs> Uh, it's just one of them, you know? Um, but I think I know what people are not going to like about this novel. Um, I think they are not going to like the fact that you're not meant to like the characters, mainly. I think a lot of people have problems, and I get it, I, I do understand it, sort of. I think a lot of people have problems enjoying a novel if they don't connect with the main characters. And that's kind of the point of this, so let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> one of the first reviews. Uh, 500 pages of a bunch of classist, pretentious assholes drinking and smoking and talking about how superior they are for studying ancient Greek. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's accurate. But I like it. <laughs> it's very accurate though. So if you're not into that, don't read it. <laughs> um, that was one of the most unenjoyable reading experiences I can remember. <laughs> To be fair, these reactions are a little bit like how I felt when everyone recommended me to read Atonement and I hated it. 
So I think this is how this feels. <laughs> Tell me why I should finish this book. <laughs> what inane drivel. I love the word drivel. This might be my favourite review that I found of all time, not even just in this video. Two words. Pretentious wank. <laughs> it kind of is. I, it kind of is pretentious, but I feel like it's kind of meant to be. It felt That felt like the character of the book to me. And I liked it. I responded really well to it. It's just funny. Funny, funny. I really liked it. These people are very angry about it. And that's fine. I feel like maybe I should do this video but the other way around. So books I really did not like that maybe other people do like. Maybe I should look at their reviews for those. That could be fun. So that is it for this week's video. Uh, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon if you want to be uh, notified every time I upload a video. Um, yeah, see you later. Bye.